We now move to next business. Motion for debate on loot boxes. Lord Foster of Bath. I'm Lord Foster of Bath. I used to be an MP for 23 years uh, and I'm now a Liberal Democrat member of the House of Lords team. Uh, I've spent 20 years being involved in gambling legislation and I very recently had a debate on trying to make changes to the legislation around what are called loot boxes in video games. A much anticipated white paper was approved twice uh, by the previous cabinet, yet has still not seen the light of day. And with at least one gambling related suicide every single day, we simply cannot wait any longer. So could the noble lord, the minister, tell us when the white paper will be published and will he agree to meet with members of PGR as soon as possible? It was exactly as I expected. You have a new minister defending the government's response to the consultation on loot boxes, a consultation that showed overwhelming evidence that there is a very clear direct link between loot boxes and gambling harm. But the government response said they were going to take no action themselves. They were going to hope that the industry would do something more and that they would uh, try and encourage more research into the issue, but they were going to take no action themselves. New Minister wasn't going to say anything to change that. The important thing was the conversation was now had with a number of peers from an organisation I chair called Peers for Gambling Reform, 150 peers from all sides of the House that want to see action in this and other areas putting pressure, joining in the debate, and then obviously, much more importantly, the conversations that will take place behind the scenes, which the Minister has now promised he'll have. Now, noble lords may wonder why I have begun with reference to gambling reform when this debate is actually about loot boxes. I believe there is a very clear link, and as I will argue, loot boxes should be treated as gambling and regulated accordingly with a change to the current legal definition of gambling. Very briefly, if you play a video game, you often want to improve the character you're playing with or give that character or your vehicles or whatever uh, better abilities to be able to win the game. Uh, and there are two ways basically of doing that through what are called in-game purchases. One, you can simply look up on a catalogue, you can have a better this, that or the other, and it tells you how much it is and you buy it. But the second way of doing it is by getting a loot box, which is basically a lucky dip. You pay so much for the loot box and you desperately hope that what you're looking for, your new character, your new vehicle, your new weapons, uh, is going to be contained in it. It may or may not be. So in my view, that is a game of chance. It should be regulated as gambling, but under the current definition of gambling, because there is no monetary prize, it doesn't get covered and the debate was to try and persuade the government to move to do that. You have to remember in this country, and, and loot box sales are phenomenal around the world, but equally in this country, billions of pounds are spent on them. But in this country, we have something like 60,000 11 to 16 year old children who are deemed as gambling addicts and another 85,000 who are at risk of becoming so. And we also know that slightly older adolescents, the rate of gambling has increased very significantly. And so anything we can do to reduce that is very important. And we now know that there is a clear link between loot boxes and gambling harm.